Hello folks, this is Audiotron 1003 and I was asked by another viewer, Scott Radley, um, if I would do a video on my Hornet alarm box. Now particularly he mentioned this one which is next to the the Acorn alarm box and underneath my modern alarms. So what I'm going to do is rather than just make a video on this I'll compare it with the even older one uh, which I was given by the person who sold me this anchor box. So what I'll do is I'll take them both off the wall and um, and let you have a look at them. So I'll just pause the video and remove them from the wall and we'll take it from there. So uh, I've taken them off the wall so there's nothing on the inside of uh, the uh, fiberglass Hornet box. It was a dummy when I was sold it so that's the back plate screwed to the wall. Um, it was sold like that when I uh, when I obtained this one. Um, I made a mistake earlier in the video and said it was the metal one that I got from this um, person, but in fact it was Anchor Alarms that sold me their box and uh, gave me what was there. The other one was done by a different means, so. I'll compare the two together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn one of these lights off because it tends to uh, glare a bit too much. That's a bit better. So first of all, this one. This was sold to me empty. Um, I touched it up with uh, with some black marker pen because it was uh, it was worn off. So it's actually inset. Uh, sorry about the shadow, that's because I've switched the light off. Um, inside, this is what you get. It's just a fiberglass shell, slotted vents at the bottom, and uh, mounting screw holes at each side. So this is it. There's quite a few of these in Nottingham, if you know where to look. Some of them have got slots, and some of them have got... Uh, holes about uh, three quarters of an inch or so in diameter. Mine was slotted so that's this one and just for comparison's sake this is a, a metal uh, S-class box which has been on a, a wall believe it or not in Upper Parliament Street Nottingham for the best part of 30 years and there was nothing in it it's just an empty box. Now the problem I have is if I try to grip this thing best I can, um, is the screws are rusted in so I cannot undo them without drilling them out and I didn't want to uh, risk damaging it. It's never had a bell in it. This is the original colour. It's uh, a nice yellow colour. Um, like I say, there's no bells in there so I can pick it up like so. Um, I'm amazed that it was in such good condition. The only thing wrong with it was this little bit of rust just there which I've deliberately left and the fact that it's so rare in Nottingham to find any of these. Most of them are brown rusted boxes and in order for me to uh, buy this um, and get it in such reasonably good condition I offered the builders a hundred pound if they would take it off the wall very carefully and all I did was I trimmed off the peeling label just there and the same at the top and you can see the colour difference between um, what was uh, old and new. The uh, sticker is cracking, changing colour on its way to becoming um, a big white patch, but basically that's my two Hornet boxes. So if I put them side by side, you can get an idea. And I'll stand back so there's no more shadow. Well, Scott Radley, I hope this uh, um, satisfies your curiosity. These are my two Hornet boxes. If you're ever around Nottingham, especially in the city centre on Carrington Street and around Hockley, you can actually find the fiberglass variety of Hornet alarm boxes still in existence. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.